Hello everyone, welcome to .NET Training Academy. We all know there are plenty of languages in the market and each language has their own purpose. But one thing that we always wonder is whatever the programming language that we use, that will be compiled or converted into a machine code, which is a binary language, which consists of zeros and ones. So here the question rises, even though whatever programming language that we use, at the end it is going to convert as a binary language, why don't we need these diversities in programming language? Why don't we code in binary language to answer the complication behind this thing? We first need to understand about the decimal system. The decimal system we are all familiar because we use this thing in our day to day life. Let's say 8765 and these numbers are classified in orders like ones, tens, hundreds hundreds, thousands. Not only that, decimal system consists of 10 numbers. So that is the reason the increment in each order goes like 10 to the power of 0 which is equal to 1, 10 to the power of 1 which is equal to 10, 10 to the power of 2 which is equal to 100, 10 to the power of 3 which is equal to 1000. So this is all about the decimal system. But what about the binary system? In binary system, unlike decimal system, in binaries we just use two numbers which is zeros and ones. So this is the basic chart of binary system. And in this, we don't use 10 to the power of something. We use 2 to the power of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and it will goes on up to the numbers. So in binary system, just using two numbers, we can calculate almost everything. So let's take an example of converting this 140 of decimal number to binary number. So in the first row, we have the usual binary order and the value of each orders. And in the last, we have the value of the 140 in binary. And how do we calculate it? So to understand this, we can split the 140 in three, which is 128 plus eight plus four. And those three are the numbers which are available in this particular chart. So wherever those numbers are presented, we need to put one over there. And the rest of the orders will be assigned as zero. So the next question is, can't we use alphabets or any other symbols in binaries? Yes, we can. So for that, you can just make a look at the ASCII conversion chart. So there is a binary values for each symbols or characters and as well as the decimal value for each symbols and characters. So let's take an example of converting the simple word called hello into a decimal binary, into a binary. So let's take an H for example. The value of H is 72. So let's say here 64 is the one that we can need to assign. 64 plus 8 which is equal to 72. So the value would be something like 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. And this thing applies to other characters also. When it comes to the difference between the machine code and programming language, uh, we use a complicated system in the machine code. It's very weird work that we need to apply to do a simple task. We can almost do the stuff in just four or five lines instead of making that much more complicated in binary. And not only that, in programming language, we use well-known English terms in the keyword English terms as keywords, functions, etc. So that makes sense for us than the binary code. So if you like this video, please like, share, share with your friends. If you have any queries, just comment it below. If you didn't subscribe, please subscribe and also click the bell icon to get notifications.